for my doodling, I have grabbed a white Posca. It is 0 0.7 millimeters. And I've grabbed this pen that I just love. It's a Pentel Finito Extra Fine Porous Point Pen. And I love it. So, I'm just going to doodle around some of the shapes. Now, I don't want the star to stand out, so I won't be doodling that one. I'm going to doodle. And I keep the lines loose, like I don't go for perfection. Circles. Okay, just had to make sure it's still on in frame. And you don't have to do this, like if you don't want, like if you don't like the look or you don't want it to stand out more, because it does bring your eye to that stencil more. But I like it. I'm going to take my white one and I'm just going to do, you know how I do like the left and underneath. I'm just going to do that with the numbers. I don't do it with every single one. And it may not show up a great deal, like in some areas you can really see it. Depends on what color is in the background. it for adding doodling to that one. I'm going to not work on the back. I'm going to give that time just in case it's still a little wet. I'll go through all one side and then I'll flip them and do the other side. This one I've been dying to get at these rectangles. You notice by doodling these rectangles here, it makes the stamp seem like it was done before. It's like it brings the stencil more forward than the stamp.
Part of me wants to do more doodling inside, but I don't know what's going to go on top of this, so I'm going to leave it. So I don't want to add too much. I'm just going to go around some of the circles. can't see a whole lot of them. I have once you start doing it, you start seeing more. And if you do one and it's not actually there, who cares? <laughs> like there's, I can't see any here, but I'm wishing there was some here, so I'm just going to have a couple. trying to see which images I want to trace. I think if I did the web it would be too much. So I'm thinking some of the hexagon pattern maybe. But not all of them. Messed that one up a little bit. That's it. And I'm going to go around some of the small circles with the white. I know, so I'm not doing every single one. Excuse me, I have to get some water.
<clears throat> yeah, I've had too much coffee and not enough water today. Finished doodling. I'm gonna have to fill up my water bottle. The flower shape, I find I have to go a little bit slower than I normally would for doodling because I can make it a huge mess. <laughs> this is what I'm trying to decide between the hexagons or the diamonds. I want to choose the hexagons, but you can only see them here. You can't see any down in the other areas. So that is going to make me choose the diamonds. I'm just going to do the one side of them. Now I'm going to do the back of the first page we did. I'm actually going to do black on the numbers this time instead of white.
I love how much it makes it stand out. I'm going to do some triangles in the white. The triangles I think I'll put all the way around where I can see it anyway. It's really hard to see it over the, I was going to say neon, but they're not neon, over the cocktails. But when you do see it, it really looks nice. There it is. Had a woolly. There you can see the white. So that one is finished. This one I think I'll do the letters and the circles. Sorry, my head is bugging me. Definitely need more water. I think I'm doing white around the flower. And then I think black around the diamonds.
that's my crazy dog. I know there's no point in yelling at him. So it won't stop him. Sometimes he barks like that and then I look out and there's nothing there. But he can bark at anything as well. He's old. I always remember his age because he was a birthday present when I turned 31. Yes, 31. So then I always think how old I am <laughs> and subtract a year. So I'm turning 43, so I'm like, okay, he's 12. He turned 12 last month. So yeah, he's an old dude for a dog. He is called, he's a Valley Bulldog. So it's part... Oh no, my cat's meowing. It's part bulldog and part boxer. He's gorgeous, like his fur coloring. He's a Bram Brindle. And you can still see it, but <laughs> he has a lot of white now because he's old. It's crazy how much his face has lightened up. It's, wow. I think he knows what I'm talking about and he's coming to my door. <laughs> you can really see how he's aged. And it's even on the top of his head. Like first it was mostly his face and his chest is pretty white, but he had a lot of white on his chest anyways. But you can see it when you look closely down his back and the top of his head has noticed yesterday it's getting really white as well. That's pretty old for a dog. I know he's a mixed breed, so they tend to live longer than full breeds. But my dad had the same dog, and his... I don't even know if his made it to seven. But with that being said, I think he had cancer, if I'm not mistaken. I think he had a tumor. So that's a bit different. That's kind of out of your hands. Uh, one more. funny I can remember Tucker's age probably because he was a birthday present I'm willing to bet that's why I remember it but I don't have a clue how old my cats are not a clue I don't think Mosby my oldest cat I don't think he's that much younger than Tucker one of my other cats. So Mosby might be around, might be around 10 years old. Can't be. Wow. He may though. I'm sure I could find it somewhere. I'm sure the vet has it on record. I should ask the next time I go in to pick up some food. And then the twins, 
They actually are brother and sister. I have two rag dolls. They're the youngest of all the animals. And I don't know how old they are either. It's funny, I can remember the day, like, picking them up and picking them out and getting them. And, but as to when it was, not a clue. I don't know if I said the names of my animals. I don't know if you care, but <laughs> you can mute me. Um, my dog's name is Tucker. My oldest cat is Mosby, and my twins are, I feel like I sound like a crazy cat lady calling them my twins. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> um, they're Finn and Milo, and all my animals are absolutely gorgeous. They're really lucky how adorable they are. Not that we wouldn't have loved them if they weren't so cute. But they are all quite gorgeous. And they're all bad in their own way too. <laughs> and that is it. Tucker is going to bark because my husband just pulled in. I will give you a look. Oh, wonder if that means it's close to supper time and I haven't started cooking yet. So I will take pictures and post it at the end of this video. Hi there. So we've done our backgrounds. We've on the gel plate we added stencils on the gel plate. Then we did more deliberate stenciling with just using makeup wedges in the stencil. Then I did stamping and doodling. And I was going to go back in and add some more small stenciling. I was thinking with dark color to, I don't know, just add some more depth, like some deep color, but I feel like it already has a lot, so I don't know if I'm going to. If I do, I will be using Balmy Night, but I think for the most part, I want to add some white. I feel like white will calm it down some. And I don't have any white Dilutions paints, so I'm going to have to use my Liquitex Basics for the white paint. So I'll just be putting some out on my palette paper and again using a cosmetic sponge and putting it through the stencil. So I want, I don't know, a part of me would like on some that may be very busy I may want to use some big circles and I don't have a dilution stencil that actually has big circles. I have one that I made that I really like to use. Well, I have two that I made that I really like to use and this is just done, this is construction paper and the more it gets used with paint, the stronger it gets. Like out here it's very flimsy still but in the center it's pretty strong. So on some I may want to use big circles. So I don't know. I have them on standby just in case. But otherwise I have and all the ones I'm about to show you are Dilutions. 
I have this one. I think this one is just simply called Circles. I'm not positive, but I'm pretty sure that's what it's called. I don't have the packaging anymore. I don't have the packaging for these either, but I'm pretty sure it's like, you know, the large one I use. So it's probably um, old school numbers and old school letters or alpha or whatever it's called. I have those two. And I have this new one, a stitch in time. So I don't know, I may use it, I'm not sure. I really don't know what I'm going to use until I start. <laughs> but these are the ones that I've taken out and I'm not going to go fishing for any more. And I have this new one, Martha's Mat. I love this stencil, but I don't know if I'm going to use it for this. So, I really don't know where to start. <laughs> This one, I'm pretty, I'm pretty good with this one. Like I, I like it. It's a bit busier than what I'm used to, but overall, I do like it. But I do feel like I want, definitely want some white in there. I'm just trying to decide between circles or numbers. And I don't think I want, I don't feel like I want the big circles because I'm not, that would look good though. So I'm not feeling the need to cover up a lot on this one. I think I'm going to try the numbers. Try not to get too much paint on my sponge so it doesn't seep through too much. And it's not showing up a lot. Not showing up much at all, actually. It doesn't show up a lot, but it does tone down what I'm putting. Oh, you can see it better on camera than I can looking at it. But it, I'm still going to do it because it tones down that stamped image a little bit. Which kind of making me wonder if I should use the large numbers. I was wanting to go small because it was going to be like a final layer, but I'm liking the idea of it toning down the background a little more. So, I'm just finding my number stencil. Oh my goodness. <laughs> that was right on my table. Sometimes I love the look of my stencil so much with all the paint on it. It would be, it would be nice framed. Just frame my stencil. To tone down here. Like I said, it's not showing up a lot, but just hoping it'll tone things down some.
nothing seems fitting for this one because it already has numbers. It already has some letters in it and circles. Let me use my big one. it down a lot. I like that. And you still see the stenciling that we did before. It's just toning it down some. You must be getting tired of hearing me use the words tone it down. <laughs> As you can tell, I didn't get this project finished in one day. My son ended up going on the computer and I didn't... felt bad kicking him off. And you would have heard him laughing and talking to his friends. His friends weren't here. They were, like, chatting on their phones or whatever they do. Chatting online while playing games. And then... We had supper and three, four, five, six. Oh my god, numbers. Then my husband came in my room. He turned off all my lights and he said we were watching the blacklist. I'm like, well, what if I wanted to play more? <laughs> Evan was on the computer, my son, so I didn't argue with him. I like that. So that one is done. I feel like whenever this one rips, I'm going to have to make one out of actual stencil material because I love a stencil. big circles to everything. It would tie everything in. Maybe that's what I should do. Instead of making it more busy by adding different small ones, maybe I should just add my big circles to everything and that will tie it all in together. I'm going to do that. That takes decision making out of the equation, which I can always use help with. And it'll tie all my pages in together even more. So there we go. And you can easily make your own stencil. It is not hard. And as you can tell, I didn't use perfect circles. If you prefer perfect circles, then, you know, get some, something circular you can trace. But I like, the reason why I like it so much is that they're wonky. Sure, you can tell by now I don't like perfect. How many of you are playing along with the video? I had one person comment saying that I was making it easy for them to play along while I was doing it. Which I can see, I mean, that's still wet. Let me do the next one. 
because it's real time and I'm not editing and speeding up the video, it would be easier for you guys to play along. So let me know if you are actually doing that. That would be awesome. Like we're having our own little art party. It'd almost be like teaching in class. Yeah, I'm really liking the addition of the circles. So I don't know how much I'm going to get done today, and tomorrow it's my birthday, and I know everything is closed, but my husband has something up his sleeve, and I don't know what it is. He told me to be ready around noonish, so I don't know. I have no idea what's happening. So I don't know if I'll get any or much playtime tomorrow. So if you don't, I will at least try and have a video edited so I have one to post tomorrow. So I posted one yesterday of this album and I'm going to post one today. And I'll have one ready to post tomorrow. So even if I don't get to play tomorrow, you guys will have a video tomorrow to watch. I like it. So you guys won't be without a video. Hopefully I do get to play some though, but... Depends on what he is. Planned. Maybe I won't want to play. Who knows? I don't see what he could do so much with, you know, the situation we're all in right now. So I have no idea what he could be up to. Unless it's just a drive looking at properties we wish we could live. <laughs> We like to do that. We go for drives in the countryish areas and try to pick out a spot where we would like to live once we retire and the kids are out and stuff like that. But the kids are coming with us, so that would be kind of mean. <laughs> This is where we want to live when you guys move out. <laughs> no rush. <laughs> I joked with them. I'm like, did you find somebody that owns a donkey and you set it up so I can go pet his donkey? <laughs> uh, I have a thing for donkeys. I'm going to try and cover this ugly spot that I really don't like. off the page a little. I like it. Four, seven. Of course, because it has to be odd numbers, right? I really do like how the red pops against the green, but with it looking a bit, you know, it could look a bit Christmassy, I'm going to cover some up.
don't know why I'm wiping off that paint. You see my desk. <laughs> the nice thing, it's real wood, so my husband, when it gets really, really, really bad, he can just sand it and refinish it. So awesome having a different kind of crafty, skilled husband. You can build me my heart's desire. He's making me a desk right now, and then he's going to make me an easel for painting, which I can't wait. I tend to enjoy painting more in the summertime for some reason. I don't know what it is. It's not like I paint outside. There's something about the nice weather and the sunshine just puts me in the mood to paint. I feel like it needs another one running off the page. Then it's an even number, so then I'm going to have to add another one. <laughs> because I'm weird like that. That one's done. thinking I was done and I didn't add much paint. I'm not a huge fan of this one either. I really don't like this area. I'm not a huge fan of this one either. nice thing about doing these big circles, you can cover areas that you really don't like. I don't know why, but six feels like an odd number to me. I know it's an even number. I think it's where I do three and three. My brain keeps saying three and three, and three is an odd number. <laughs> like 
tricking me into thinking six is an odd number. So that is done. I didn't do any. <laughs> We're not done. I really don't like that. can hear noise my son is warming up some food for his lunch you know, for him it's breakfast it's like his mom he likes to stay up late in the wee hours and then sleep and sleep done.